Hello viewers, today's our topic is Under the Greenwood Tree. This is the one of the poem and this poem is written by William Shakespeare. We know about the William Shakespeare, the one of the greatest dramatists and the poet of the British. This poem basically is taken from As You Like It. As You Like It is one of the popular comedy drama was written by William Shakespeare. But before we may start this poem, to read and understand, I would like to say you that kindly subscribe my channel so that each and every topic that I may make you may receive on the time. So let's start our poem. Under the Greenwood Tree. Greenwood, that means a forest. That means a green forest. Under the Greenwood Tree. Tree means you know that is a tree and the trees are in the forest. That is basically a song. That is basically a song and this song is sung by Lord Emmons, a character in the comedy drama As You Like It. We have taken this song from As You Like It, one of the comedy drama. That is a song and we call it a lyrical song. That is a song that is sung by Lord Emmons. Students, you all must remember the title of the poem under the Greenwood tree basically taken from as you like it and as you like it is one of the comedy and this comedy is written by William Shakespeare while that is a song and the song we consider that that is the lyrical song who uttered this song this song is uttered by Lord Emmons what does he say in this song that we read and understand Let's see that what does he say. But before we may start to read this poem, this song, I would like to introduce some importance about the, the character and the importance of the comedy. Basically, in this comedy drama, there are the different characters and one of the famous characters that is the king. King was a very nice king and he was uh, one of the uh, honest king, but there was his Kirill brother, the, his Kirill brother who captured the king's court, who captured the king's throne. And after capturing his throne, he compelled the king that he should leave the th kingship, he should leave the throne, otherwise he would be killed. He was banished from his kingship, he was banished from his estate. Being a good king and the honest king, he does not wish to fight his brother. He does not wish to fight for the sake of throne. He does not want to push his league men and his soldiers to fight with for the sake of the king. So therefore, the king, he decided to left his kingship. He left his court. He left his throne and he went into the one of the forest. He went to the live in his life under the trees, under the trees in the one of the forest by name the Odin, the forest of Odin. While he went there, his followers, his league men, his soldiers who loved him, they also uh, followed him. It means that there was a party of the people, they followed the king. When they reached under the trees in the forest, they lived under the shadow of the tree. Where there they live and they felt there a good life. They enjoyed there. They lived there a comfortable life. They found there a peace of mind. They saw there there was no any cruel kind of the people who may torture them, who, they, who may wound them, who, get, who may pain them, as it happened in a court and the city in artificial life. That was the reason there was uh, no any boundness. They were passing, they were living independent and a free life. While they are living a good life, one of the king's noblemen by name the Lord Amens, the league man, the nobleman, who enjoyed there and he uttered a song. This is the song by named under the Greenwood tree. This is the song by the title under the Greenwood tree. He uttered this song and he delivered his message to the common man. He delivered his message of the forest life, of the green and the uh, peaceful and the natural life which they were 
uh, pausing under the greenwood trees. He invites the people, said that if anybody who comes over here who could live a very happy life. That is the basic message. The song which was the which was sung by the Lord Emians. This is the song that we are reading now. Let's read that song. What does he say? Under the greenwood tree who loves to lie with me. The basic and the first two lines of the song. What does it mean by this? Under the greenwood tree, the Lord Emians said that is there anybody who wish to live a happy life under the tree? Under the tree in the forest, in the green forest, who loves to lie, who wish to lie, loves means who wish to lie with me, means with us. If certainly who wish to live a happy life, then he must come over here, here he say, and turn his merry note. If he comes over here in this forest, he means to say that here he would live a free and independent life where there he may turn, turn means compose or write his merry, merry means happy and, and ex happy note, note means here the song. So the singer means to say that if anybody who comes over here to live here a life that would be a very uh, happy life and in this happy and uh, uh, good life the living man, the people who may also compose his happy song and after composing or after writing those happy poetry song he may also utter he may also sing that song with the company of the bird and to the sweet bird throats that means he means to say that if people who come over here who live their comfortable life and compose his own poetry his own sing and that after writing that poetry he may sing with the bird with Sweet birds. Sweet means a sweet melody of the birds. Birds always sing the song and he means to say that a man also can sing with the music of the song. That song which comes from the throat. Throat means a neck of the bird. He will here come and he enjoy their life in this forest, in this natural life where there would be no any cruel man or there would be no any bad man who may torture them. So the poet William Shakespeare said and this song sung by the Lord Emils who said that then if anybody who wishes to live a happy life then come hither, come hither, come hither. It means come here, come here, come here. Here shall he see no enemy. Further, the singer said that here shall he see no enemy. It means that if anybody who comes over here to live here a life that would be a peaceful life, in this life mankind would not see any type of the enemy, any type of the human enemy. But winter and rough weather, much more he said that here he live a happy life but he would have to suffer the Bad weather, sometimes hot weather, sometimes hot sun, sometimes a coolness, coldness, and sometimes the different types of the uh, storm and different types of the weather. He means to say that if anybody who would come over here, he would he would have no any shelter, except he would he would accept he will have to live under the trees. So naturally, he will have to suffer some types of the hardship of the weather. But these things are of the bearable. A man who can tolerate these things, then he must come over here and live a happy life. So the singer means to say that if anybody who become upset, who become sad, who become melancholy, who become uh, miserable by the torture of the people in the city life, in the court life, he should left their life and comes in the rustic, in the village, in 
type of the uh, forest life where there he could live according to his own accord according to his own will and he will enjoy over there so that is the why the singer by name the lord amiens who is inviting the people to come over here in this forest and live a very happy life so in this first instance we have learned about that the singer is singer is inviting the people those who are living in the city life if they are upset then come over here and enjoy the life as they were living their life because they were living their life and they had a good peace of mind now let's start the second stanza of the poem without ambition shun and loves to live in the sun singer said that when anybody who doth means a does ambition means desires a worldly desires shun means left shun means ignore or of the avoid so the poet said that if anybody can left if anybody ignore the worldly wishes and desires that person must come over here to live a happy life and loves to live in the sun and similarly the man should know that if he would come here in the forest he would have to live under the sun he would have to have to suffer the sun how how dresses of the sun so if one can bear these things that one should come over here in this forest life seeking the food he eats he said that if anybody he says that if anybody who comes over here to live or who wants to live a here happy life then for that he will also have to seek seek means seeking means to search out to find out the food what means a cooking food he eats the poet means to tell say that here he will not have to get easily and comfortably a food here he will have to seek out it means to find out to search out what the food for in eating and whatsoever he will get he will have to contend upon that he will have to become happy he would have to become pleased with that whatsoever he get and then he will have to eat and pleased means and to be, become happy on what he would become happy he would become happy on that food what he found and pleased with what he gets and whatsoever he get whatsoever the food he get he would have to happy upon that come hither come hither come hither then he said come here come here come here here shall he see no enemy here means in this forest he will see he will look no any types of the men kinds of the enemy enemy no type of the enemy but winter and the rough weather but he means to say that here would be no any a uh, human enemy bird here he will have to suffer with the winter that different types of the winter uh, winter uh, weather like uh, sometime cold land sometime the hot summer sometime the winter sometime the rain sometime the storm heavy storm all such thing if anybody could be here then he must come over here so he says that come here come here come here in that regard he advises the people if anybody who wants to live a happy life then he should come here come here come here to so viewer we uh, so viewers you all understand what i have explained what i have narrated i mean to say that in this poem the poet william shakespeare had written a natural life is better and the peaceful life that gives us the peace of mind that gives us the happiness that gives us joy that gives us the uh, amusement that gives us a healthy life but instead of that we have seen city life that is the considered artificial life where there the all the people live and they live for the sake of their own 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 selfishness and they only think about their own benefit so he say if anybody who wants to live a peaceful life where there nobody disturb them where there nobody give them torture nobody give them a pain then a person should come here in this forest and live a happy life 